I want to talk about everybody's favorite topic, taxes. And the reason I want to talk about it is there tends to be a lot of confusion, especially among the general public, about how the U.S. tax system works. In fact, during the last uh, presidential campaign, you heard a lot of talk about President Obama wanting to raise the tax rate for people uh, earning over $250,000. And you may be thinking, look, you know, my family, my, my father makes, you know, $252,000. Boy, that's going to be a big tax increase for us. And that's not really how the system works. The way the system works is that we have this marginal tax rate system. That is, you get taxed at certain amounts on certain amounts of income. So, if we look at this table here, this is from a, a 2009 U.S. income tax table. And you notice there are two columns here, one for individual returns and one for joint returns. So you can be joint uh, married filing a joint return, and so you have different numbers over here. And over here, you can be single filing an ind individual return. And what you see is there are different rates from income of zero to eight thousand three hundred and fifty dollars you get taxed at ten percent but if you make eight thousand three hundred and fifty one dollars you, all your income doesn't get taxed at fifteen percent just the additional dollar that's what we call your marginal tax rate so if you take someone like bill gates who has a large amount of income he gets taxed on his first eight thousand three hundred and fifty dollars at the same rate that you do and then his next uh, amount of money gets taxed at a at, at the fifteen percent rate etc etc the difference is is that where most families stop you know at uh, the twenty five percent tax rate or maybe the twenty eight or maybe even the thirty three some of these wealthier individuals have a lot of income that gets taxed at the thirty five percent rate so I've, I've, I have this example here where someone has income, and let's do an individual return, and they have an income of 171552 Let's figure out how much tax they have to pay. All right, the first amount they have to pay is on the first $8,350. So $8,350, they get taxed at 10%. So that's pretty easy to do in our head. So that's $835. Okay. Then they're going to get taxed on the next amount of money. So if you take $33,950 and you subtract $8,350, that's going to be taxed at 15%. So let's see what that is. Uh, 39, I'm sorry, 33, 33,950 minus the 8,350. Okay, so this extra 25,600 will be taxed at 15%. Okay, so the next amount is 3,840. And then between 33,951 and 82,250, they'll be taxed at 25%. So we have to figure out how much that is there. That's 82,250 minus 33. 950 and that's going to be taxed at 25 percent so let's see what that is 82 to 50 minus 33 950 okay so this 48,300 will be taxed at 25 percent so multiply by 0.25 so they're going to pay 12,000 and 75 and then the income they have let's see 
the next amount of income, the $171,550 minus $82,250 will be taxed at a 28% rate. So let's see what that is. $171,550 minus 82.250 and then times 0.28 so this is going to be taxed at 25,004 and then now they make one dollar over this or actually I could say they have two dollars in here so their last two dollars in income since they made one, 171,552 and the cutoff was 171,550 so their last two dollars will be taxed at the 33 percent rate. Okay, so they pay another 66 cents in taxes. All right, so let's add that up. We have 835 plus 3840 plus 12,075 plus 25,004 plus 66 cents. And so they pay a total tax of $41,754.66. Their marginal tax rate is 33% because that's what their last dollar was taxed at. Their last dollar or their last two dollars were taxed at 33%. Okay, so their marginal rate is 33 percent. What's their average rate? Their average rate is going to be equal to the amount of tax they pay 41, 7, 54, 66 divided by their income which is 171, uh, 552. So let me just divide this by 171, 552, and I get 0.2434. Okay, so 24.34% is their average tax rate. Why? Because their lower income was taxed at lower rates. So you can see that, you know, people, people tend to... Um, misstate taxes. You maybe have heard people talking about, you know, I made too much money last year, I made a little too much, and I, was actually, I actually took home less money. That can't be. Now, you'll take home a smaller percentage of what you make, but your check won't actually get smaller. Why? Because it's only this extra dollar. You know, this person made just a little bit too much and kicked into the 33% tax bracket, but all of their income wasn't taxed at 33%, only the last dollar. In fact, if we taxed all of their income at 33%, so 171,552 times 33 they would have paid $56,000, $56,612.16 in taxes. They only paid forty-one thousand seven fifty-four and sixty-six cents in taxes. So, when you're looking at taxes, you care about both the marginal rate and the average rate. So, if you hear that they're going to raise taxes for people in the upper income levels, and your family happens to be, or you happen to be in the upper income level, if you're only slightly above that you're not going to see a big increase in your tax bill. Now, of course, if you're making $2 million a year, $10 million a year, you will see a big increase. But um, for
for most people, for small business owners who might be making $255,000, um, an increase in the top rate isn't going to be that significant in terms of how much money they actually get to take home and how much tax they have to pay.